Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Farnborough away, National League South. Adam, how are you feeling going into this one? It's been a, a big win on Saturday against Haven. How are you feeling following that? Yeah, um, obviously it's good to get uh, back to winning ways. Uh, big three points for us. Um, and hoping we can take some confidence and build some momentum going into Saturday. And this is another game against a playoff rival in Farnborough. They're someone who had quite a few games in hand. They've come into a lot of form recently. How do you expect them to approach the game and how do you plan on going against that? Oh yeah, they've, they've recruited very well, got some good loan, good loan players in, uh, a couple from Sutton, um, um, one from Aldershot as well, you know, real good quality and you know they're they're a tough team to play against. Um, you know, they, they get the ball forwards, they've got long throws and um, good set piece delivery um, and you know it's, it's it's really make it difficult for the opposition so you know it's going to be a real real tough place to go it's a, it's a tough tough game um, but you know we one that we've got to look forward to um, it's was it six games to go now so you know this stage of the season it's about finding that bit of form and we're hoping that you know um, getting three points on Saturday we can you know build a bit of form ourselves. As you mentioned, not long left to go over the season. We have actually just slipped out of the playoffs for the first time in a couple of months, but still ridiculously close there. Um, and that is us and Farnborough. How big do you think this game could be in the, looking at the end of the season? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously a big game. You know, we jump back in the playoffs if, if we win. Um, so, you know, there's definitely that to play for. Um, but I don't think it's going to be the be on end all of our season. Um, you know, I think four four wins from the last six would probably almost guarantee a playoff spot. Um, maybe even need five from six. So um, it just make life a bit bit more tricky and a bit bit tougher for us if, if we don't win. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big game. Um, you know, we're still disappointed from the way. We, we lost here, I thought we created a lot of chances, um, we played some good stuff on the day, um, just didn't take them and you know, we got done by that sucker punch of a long throw and not in the right positions, not tracking our runners and they get a, a last minute winner. So um, yeah, we know, know what to expect, it's going to be a, a tough game um, but yeah, we just want to really focus on, on what we can do and um, you know, get, get, get playing our way. Uh, and you know, hoping to to have a good good performance ourselves. Yeah, but speaking of uh, loan players earlier for Farnborough, and there was one that came in for us on deadline day, and Jack Paxman, someone who you admired. Um, how big is he going to be in, in helping us play our way going into this run in? No, definitely. Um, I think you can see from that that first game just um, you know what type of player Jack is. Um, he's you know, a lad that wants to get on the ball and take it, even if he's under pressure. Uh, and I think that's something that we've really needed. Um, someone that's prepared to do that. Um, you know, so he's real, real um, good player. Knows the level, which I think is important for our, for our group to add someone like that that knows the level. Um, and alongside him, I thought like you know, there's some other good performances as well. Um, you know, Liam Vincent probably had his best game for us. Um, so yeah, you just want now some of these youngsters and you know. Um, some of our experienced players to, to find a bit of consistency and I think that's going to be really important in the last six games. Looking at the rest of the squad, who's going to be available and who do you think might not be? We've um, got a couple missing from training. Mo Dabra's got a toothache after he got elbowed, um, so he's missing out today. We've got Oli Pierce, who's um, potentially broke his toe. Um, so we'll see how that is. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've got Dan Bowery back from international duty and pretty healthy squad to choose from. There's no other um, players um, that are not going to be available. So, you know, relatively um, good um, group to, to go with. Um, obviously, Lewis White's going to be missing as well um, with his hamstring. I think he's had a scan now, so that's uh, it's probably a grade two test. So it's probably four to six weeks, so it's a big, big blow for us at this sort of stage of the season. Um, you know, Lewis has been a massive player for us in in a lot of games this year. But you know, what that does do is frees up other opportunities for for other players to come and showcase themselves. Um, got Miki, Danny Barker on the bench, JB on the bench. The other day, I'm sure they're chomping at the bit to to get in the team and showcase what they can do. Um, you know, Suk Jay come in as well and he's had relatively um, good good game time and done well when he's, he's been involved so I think there's only better to come from him as well so it does free up um, 
some opportunity. Um, but yeah, obviously disappointed to to miss uh, any of them players.